Hi everyone, this is Sha Shan Li. My student number is 33735491 and I'm doing my master degree of teaching and this is my second year. This is just show all the work done by myself. It's an all true and genuine. Okay, let's get started. So the first part of the assignment is about a mind map and for me, I have chosen the topic on the complex numbers and the complex plane. Is on the Aita Mathematics Specialist 2.37 to 2.3.13. Okay, as you can see, I organized this by, in the middle is the main idea, the complex number. I organized by the definition, which is combined by real number and imaginary number. And then I put them on the complex plane as well, which I can explain further in the second uh, part of my mind map. And then um, the complex number also can represent in the rectangular form. So it's A plus B, I. And I also show A is the real part and B, I is the imaginary part. And then how it's showing in the complex plane, I draw on this side. And then on this part, this side of the mind map is more about the calculation. So it's about the complex number adding, subtracting, uh, multiplication, and also the division. Okay, I will explain this further in my in my detailed lesson plan. And also we introduce a new idea about the conjugate, which you can see I uh, draw the uh, thing on the uh, complex plane. And then we use this one to work out the division later, which I can show the student how to work it out in the lesson. And also on the second part, as you can see, um, the complex plan part, I explain, you know, uh, it's used for represent the complex number in the, in the, uh, in the picture. And also what are examples and how to use this one to work out the addition part. And also the they follow the distributive rule. So what is the equation? I put it here. Okay. Um and then the second part of the assignment is about two detailed lesson plan. On the first part of the lesson, I'm going to talk about the basic uh definition of the complex number and also some addition and multiplication thing. As you can see, I organized this one by telling the student what is our learning focus and learning intention. And also, um, I put them in three different groups. Uh, as we can see from the previous class, I know that uh, their level. And also, you know, for some students who really have difficulty or language barrier, I put them in group C, with which doing the one by one with myself. Okay, and then um, I organize lesson by opening, body, and closing. And also I have the reflection part because um, last time I didn't do the reflection and I get the feedback from the student. They told me uh, what their problem. So I will recap for them as well. Okay, and I have the quiz um, for them to do on class and test them whether they understand about the topic. And then also after they do the group um the group um discussion, I will do the recap using the PowerPoint slides as well to show them how everything works out. Okay, basically this is a main idea. I use more detail on my second part of the lesson plan to explain further. Okay, for me when I start the lesson, I will hand out the online quiz. Uh, to my student, uh, okay, for them to do uh, later. And then I will start to telling them what is a curriculum description. And then um, I tell them what I want them to achieve for the whole class. And by beginning of the class, I will use a hook normally, that's what I do, to get students uh, interest and also tell them, um, you know, about what is math related to our daily life to let them have the meaning to learn a mathematic, okay? And then um, normally I put them in the three different groups and I will put them in, um, you know, in different tables to let them to do the discussion. And on the each group, I hand out the um, paper to let them draft on there and also the questions will be there. And then for example, for this one, um, for the student group A, they already understand the 
idea of a conjugate, I will ask them to work on the uh, questions straight away to do the division. And then I ask them to summarize what the steps for doing that. Okay, for the group B, the student um, is okay, is a medium level. So I will ask them to do the uh, basic idea, what is the term and then how to draw on the part. Okay, and then for the for the closing part, I will ask student to do the test and we also do the recap for the class. Okay, pretty much I organize all this um, following this one and the students feedback is very positive for this way and I give them the takeaway uh, assi take home assignment as well and they can do more practice if they are very vague on that and I also I do the summarize together okay pretty much that's all my lesson thank you for listening